mahilig po akong magpatawa pero sa mga classmates ko lang or sa ano sa labas not really sa ano okay, kasi hindi po ako tanggap ng daddy ko that time so yeah uh, my dad died ng nag ne, nag out na ako nung pero wala na po ako sa bahay nung pinalayas na ako so nag out ako nung lumayas ako sa bahay namin nung nagtatrabaho na ako when I'm earning my own money so kaya nalaman na ako kasi that's the time that I can say that you cannot dictate my life anymore and you cannot control me because I'm earning my own money but still my respect for you as my dad won't be gone I'm still here your son and I'm still here respecting you as my dad but please um, respect my life and who I am and accept me for who I am because I am not uh, asking for your for your money anymore but I will but I will of course keep my promise and I will give back to you as soon as I can but uh, unfortunately my dad passed away after my mom did mm. um, wala pong, wala pong kasi um, when you accept uh, reality, na wala na yung tao. Kasi the only thing that you can that you can do is eh, acceptance. You have to accept everything that it's happening. Kasi if you if you will deny the existence of it, wala mong yari sa buhay mo. The thorn will be there and it won't be it, it won't go away. What it, the pain will not be released. So you just have to accept the fact that your 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 parents are gone. You have to live your life. This is the reality, and you have to face everything. Ganun po. So, um, yeah, to say, yung hindi uh, uh, um, uh, hindi na sinabi na anak tanggap kita. Uh, so walang verbal. Wala pong verbal na sinabi nakita niya na lang ako na kumakanta ng through the fire. Nakita niya na ako na ako. But he didn't say anything. So, wala na. Wala na. He, did, he, he just kept quiet and he didn't say anything at all. Like, respeto. respeto na lang din po yung natanggap sa kanya. Kasi nakita niya na I, I stood up on it. Wala naman po siguro. I think, I think wala lang. Kasi by that time, kasi yung tatay ko kasi si Kai. Eh. Siguro dahil doon. Dahil, dahil, dahil doon. Pero I could say na hindi naman na hindi naman tang, hindi dahil sa hindi tanggap at tanggap. He tried to change me. Na maging lalaki siguro. Siguro maybe he's afraid of of what will I face. Na ano kasi that's how, that's how ako naniniwala po ako sa sa ano kasi sa kasabihan ng um ng mga tatay kaya minsan inaayaw na bakla ang anak. It's not because na ayaw talaga nila ng bakla. It's just they are too afraid that they cannot protect their son from the violent uh, reaction of this world and that their love can, won't suffice to protect you from the pain you will suffer and you will face into the from the future na kakaharapin, kakaharapin pa ng isang pagkataan na katulad na eh, katulad ko, diba? So I think that's the love, that's a tough love from my from my dad na uh, try niya akong, alam mo yun, baka maging lalaki pa ako pero nung nakita ko naman na okay na siya, nung bex ako tapos nakita niya na okay ako Kaya ba yan nga? Pakita ng silver lining. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I I always like in terms of what in terms of what po? Many teenagers ano? I ano po, warrior po ako. Warrior, hindi warrior ha, warrior. I, I, I always worry. Laging alam kong magaling yung kalaban. I don't undermine my opponents. Like I don't under I, I don't estimate, yeah. Kasi once you do that, it's the, it's the end of you. Kasi you you should treat them as equal. Because they wouldn't enter that competition or that contest if they are not deserving of the title. Mm-hmm. Um, ako po kasi nag-audition po ako ng 4 years. Sa po ng 4 years, hindi po ako tiyat nanggap sa family bar. So lahat po na experience ko. The library, the library family bar po. Okay, Mama Andrew de Ria. Uh, it took me 4 years just to be a trainee without any salary. 
na nakiusap pa ako kay Mamu. Mamu, uh, pwede po ba akong sumak na kaysa pa sa stage? Gusto ko lang po matuto. That's how I work. I don't really care about the the sahod. Like, I only... Uh, I only, parang doon sa previous job ko, nagtitinda ko ng balot tsaka profits sa Lipa City. Kikita ko ng 150, para kung masahe ko papunta, then I won't get anything but doon sa hati ng tip na mababait yung mga kasama ko na binibigyan ng tip para may pangkain ako tsaka kung masahe ako pabalik ng Batangas. And si Mamu is so uh, gracious na pinayagan niya ako mag-train. And then after a month, binigyan niya ako ng sahab, nakita niya ito po sige. Yan ang nakita niya sa akin, hindi ako magaling pero kaya ko matuto. And uh, aminado ako noon. Right for now, I don't consider myself as magaling. Kasi once I consider ko sarili, sarili ko na magaling, there's no room for me to grow. I'm always a student who wants to learn. And I want to study every time. Every, right, uh, every now and then, I want to learn new things. I want to explore. I want to venture. And with regards po dun sa mga, sa mga nakasama, meron at meron po tayong mga dark sides of everything. Yes. Kung sa family po nga po natin, so sa first na family natin, meron pong bad sa atin. What more sa mga tao, hindi mo pa naman talaga kilala. But what you have to do is like, you have to set that some inspiration that this bad person to me will be very good to me pagdating ng tamang panahon. Because you will see my worth and I'm worthy of your time. I didn't take that seriously. Kasi once you take the criticism seriously, na, yo, I mean, what I meant seriously, kung didibdibin mo, walang mayayari sa'yo. You just have to take criticisms. Like, kasi yun, bashing or criticisms, like, if, if it's not constructive, it's still criticism. So, you just have to take it positively and turn it to your strength. Your weakness can be your strength. That's why it's called weakness. It can be strengthened. Diba? And... Yes. Yes. Every time I push it in some direction, sometimes I feel like I'm crying, I'm crying. But I don't cry on the spot. I still keep my face straight and keep my dignity in me. Yes, but I'm crying. Yes, I'm crying. Yes, I'm crying. Ang nani ang nani ko po of course bias of course ang nani na nai ang kaya niya. Why bias? Why bias? Oh for bias it's up up si bias po kasi ang pinakamatulino pinakamatsaga pinakakursigido pinakamadisiplina and nakita ko pula yon. When it comes to bias discipline is number one and studying is number one. Uh, yun pong laging maganda kay Vice. That's why I want to keep studying because even the most famous comedian here in the Philippines, which is Vice Kanda, is still studying until now. nag ng mga bago. She, she, she keeps on the trend. Hindi siya nawawala sa uso. Hindi siya nawawala sa... Lagi siyang relevant. Imagine for for a decade now, she's been on top of, the, of, 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 on top of his game. Diba? And for, for like a decade and a half, she waited for the opportunity to come, to knock on his door. Diba? Parang, di ba, hindi mo ba iiduluhin yung taong may pagpupursigi sa buhay na hindi lang gano'ng ang puhunan, kundi disiplina sa, sa, sa sarili. Kasi maraming magagaling na walang disiplina. Maraming mahuhusay na walang pagpupursigi. Pero siya, si, si Vice Paul, is the amalgamation of all the characteristics na nakikita ko natin. Buo siya. Nandun ang galing, nandun ang husay, nandun ang talino, nandun ang, pagpu- ang determination, nandun ang motivation, nandun ang discipline. So, you couldn't ask for more. Who's better than Vice Ganda? There would be no other Vice Ganda, only Vice Ganda. That's my top one. If you can move on, so say, okay, complete Vice Ganda. Kaya talaga lang kung ano saan niya, masasabi, kahit nagiting na flaws. Um, lahat, lahat naman tao may, may lahat naman po ng tao may flaws eh. Okay, lahat naman. Isa sa nakitong flaws na ito. Siya. Ah, ibig ba? 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 pag ba ang kaibigan niya na na sumama may, may pinagdadaanan or nasaling or na ano siya akala nga malambot ang puso niya niya sobra sobrang maalala niya sobrang sobrang malambot ang puso niya as in first time kong naranasan yan sa kanya 
hindi niya na pinapakita kasi akala natin pag nakita natin siya akala natin very strong but the strongest person that you can see have the weakest heart mm-hmm. tapos ba yun na na siya? na um I don't know, matalino si Vice. Alam niya ang alam niya ang hangga ng lahat. Kung naaabuso siya o hindi. That I don't, I don't know. That's a personal matter of Vice. That's not for me to answer na po. That's not for me to answer na. Kasi never know kung ano kaari na nakuha siya no kinabuhos siya ba siya ba kinabuhos siya ba 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 ang turo sa akin sa entablado and she taught me how to write as well um, so malamit na Waki Maki Waki Maki is also my my mentors and of course hindi naman mawawala of course uh, uh, hindi siya stand comedian but he is the father of it Mamo Andro de Rial hmm. kasi the wisdom and everything so bigyan mo naman kami lang ano, yung edge mo sa Generation. 34 po yung age ko ngayon. So. Ah, not the age. 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 the the advantage of what I have, because um, I'm not I'm not that really good stand-up comedian per se, but I will brag my writing skills. Pag dating sa pagsusulat, so brag talaga inter. I would say I'm I'm good in writing, not not only in comedy. I have like I have three novels actually. Na it's published in national books or Gone Boy Raptured and Three Angle. Mm-hmm. Saan? Wala po kasi ginagawa ko din eh. <laughs> Hindi, the material, gato po kasi. Like sa comedy po, um, it's really hard to think of new materials. It's really, it's, 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 it's really hard for, for that to be understood. I, for example, I am using same materials for 10 years now. But when you go in a comedy bar, you are not always there for 10 years. You have to cater some of the people who are first timers. And for the, because sa sobrang daming tapos sa Pilipinas, the comedy bar, uh, hindi po siya ma, hindi mo sasawa ang taong pumunta doon kahit pa ulit ulit ang joke na nagdadalim mo. And kahit pa ulit ulit, we are born, uh, we are, we are, we are not born. We are, we are spontaneous in sometimes. But you also have to do that material because your, kung bago pambala mo. That is your prime time. Yan ang pambala mo. Aminin po natin, minsan ng isang, isang bagay, kahit po ulit-ulit mo naririnig, jokes are not actually nakakasawa. De- pero depende yan sa delivery. Even the funniest joke, when it's not delivered properly, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be funny. Pero ang isang joke, kahit pa ulit-ulit, pero napakaganda ng pagkakadeliver, that would be really nice, di ba? Sobrang nakakatawa siya. So, I am guilty of that na pa ulit-ulit po kung gumagamit ng show or that. Kasi kung alam niyo lang po kung gano'ng kahirap mag-isip ng, ng isang joke, ng panibago, napakahirap po. It's, it's not the same thing na mag-isip ka ng panibagong hugot, mag-isip ka ng panibagong pakipagtalastasan sa drama, kasi oh, ang, dali, ang, ang puso madaling sa lingin pagdating sa drama yan. Puso madaling sa lingin sa emosyonal na nakakalungkot. Di ba? Magdrama ka, maano ka. Pero ang pagpapatawa, napakahirap po. Napakahirap. Kasi kaya, kaya nga po tinatawag na hit or miss. Di ba? It's gonna be hit or miss. Ngayon, ang nangyayari sa jokes, when it hit, pag nag-hit yan ngayon, maaari mag-miss sa susunod. Di ba? So, you can use the same joke. You can use the same joke on a different time. Yun po yung ano namin, yun po talaga. 
Nakahihirap po talaga. Masensya na po kayo pa ulit po ulit. <laughs> Mahirap po talaga kasi. Yeah, yeah. Nakita ko ba yung isang edge mo? Hindi nga. Hindi nga kasi na... Nang mukha. Ang saka yung natural. Thank you po. So, binagay mo yung mukha and then you're losing isa si Ovis na yung chat kidneys. Hindi ka makakawala niya. Pero ba din yung na, ay, Actually, I was just waiting for the moment that I didn't need that kind of face. Because this was this was my key to to enter the comedy bar. So I yakap ko sa this is my character. So I yakap ko sa. But right now, po, I'm nagpa pinapa unti unti pinapa. So pa wala ka nito. Oh po, gusto ko niya mo wala for because not only for for vanity reasons for myself na de. Yeah, parang kasi matatay up naman ako sa ganitong muka, di ba? Kung makikita nyo lang sa sa ibang mga lumalabas na ano, pag na-close up, pangarap ko rin naman po ma-close up na masabing foreless, di ba? Hindi po yun na-close up, makikita na madami pang camera. Pero hindi isa pa rin mo kinis na... Si G! Si G po, isa rin po sa mga iniidolo ko. Kapatid, ah, Lesa Langga. Ah, brother ni Lesa Langga. Sobrang galing din po nung magsulat. Napakapalila rin po. Isa po sa mga hindi. Thank you very much. Ano ka rin siya may, di ba, mga kinis? Sila rin naman pumiso ang nagbansag sa akin ng kinis. So, it's a kinis family. It was bestowed by me. Not really, hindi ko siya ginamit basta-basta. It was bestowed by the kinis family or yung mga naman sa industry. Yes. I cry, I cry when uh, uh, I hear uh, success, success stories. Emotional. Yes, uh, when it comes to family. Uh, ayun, sa kaibigan, so pag lalo na pag sobrang na-attach ako. Yun, yun po ang mga nagpapayak sa akin sobrang. When was the last time that you met? Me. I was pranked by, you know, by Michelle Fox, by Babae Marangal. Tumawag siya sa akin. I don't know, every, everyone's having a hard time kasi lalo sa YouTube. And she called me. Sabi niya kailangan niya ng tulong, and she's asking for for help. Na magtatayo ng isang business. So may heram siya sa akin. So I cried. Kasi I know Michelle Fox is a good person. So I told her that I can lend half of nang hini heram niya. Kasi nabiyan na sa akin prank. So tano ako. Eh hindi ako sa nila ng ng ganong prank. Kasi kasi nabiyan mo ko ng ganon. Ma, ma, oo, kurarin dito, tulungan kita as much as I can na ano, kaya sabi ko sa kanya, I hate you, mong uulitin sa akin yan. Kasi I don't like seeing my friends being down, being, grabe, lalo na itong pandemic, my, my, my friends are really down at the times, so parang kaya kong magawin, bibili mo yung sariling munting binibenta nila, wala makatulong ka, gagawin mo. Oh, I'm proud of them. I'm really proud of them. Now, despite of what happened, they found a way to to live uh, properly. Right? It doesn't matter how you how you how you uh, how you earn na na how you earn. Basta mahalaga, malinis, maayos, may wala kang tinatapaan, and Nakita natin, nakita natin doon kung gano'n sila kapulosigido sa buhay. Na, na after this, they still have the life. Pero diba? parang, Jen, ano, saan magagaling yung, ano, kasi kailangan ka namin, mga driver na very generous ka sa ibang tao, eh, saan magagaling yung ating Jen? Oh, I learned from other people too. Kasi natulungan ako ng ibang tao, and that's what I learned. Yeah, pag tinulungan ka, huwag kang magtanong ng utang na loob, but you have to pass it on. Yeah, kasi ang utang na loob po, hindi na mabayaran. Kaya, kaya never never wag na wag kang magbabayad ng utang nalo kasi it would never be repaid sa ibang pamamaraan you have to pass it on kasi ganito lang yan eh alam ba kung tayong dalawa po may tinulungan mo ako kung ibabalik ko lang din sa iyo yung utang nalo ba't di mo naman talaga kailangan na ginagawa lang ko dahil may utang nalo ba ako sa iyo we would break the cycle hindi na siya lalaga hindi siya lalaga na iikot lang sa ating dalawa but you will not create a bigger cycle of life Like, unlike if you're passing on the help, yung natulungan ng tao na yun, hindi mo alam kung kailan siya mag-boom yung buhay niya para magkaroon siya magkakaya, para makatulong din sa sarili niya pamamaraan. 
So, it's actually a lesson I learned from from Tart, from Wakimaki, from Ruela de Unida, yung kumari ko. When I saw them helping other people, sabi ko, it's good to 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 spread the inspiration to help other people, lalo na sa panahon na to. Even wala pa naman po yung pandemic, that's what I learned. Nung sa pagtulong sa mga bagong pag-discover ng mga talents, discover, na tinulungan ako paano ako makapasok sa the library, nagpunta ako sa mga provincial, nagtingin ako ng mga talents sa deserving matulungan at may talaga, may kaya na make it. Dinan ako sa Maynila. Ngayon, naging okay sila. Thank <laughs> you.